pooped on by a bird. I promise you that has some relevance to my story. Now growing up, I had always been told that if you got pooped on by a bird, that it was good luck. I will tell you right now that that is a farce. Because last Tuesday, I was at Universal and I was having a really fun time. My friend and I, we were walking through Krusty Land. If you don't know, that's where The Simpsons is. And all of a sudden, I just felt this plop on my head. And I knew. I knew. So I just, I stopped dead in my tracks and I, I said, is there anything in my hair? And he said yes. And so I had to like rinse my hair out underneath the faucet. It was miserable. But all I kept saying to myself was, oh, I mean, it can't be that bad. At least it's good luck, right? Wrong. Because two days later, I had to work at Disney. And usually I leave about an hour beforehand. It gives me enough time to drive there, change, and get to work with a decent amount of cushion. I decided to leave a few minutes earlier, that way I could pick up some food on the way, I'd give myself a little bit of leeway. So my start time was 1.15. I left at about noon. I was like, this is great, gonna get my food, it's gonna be fantastic. I go down to my car and I see that my tire is really flat. This past summer, I ran over a screw, so I had a flat tire. We didn't change the tires, we just patched it up, so every once in a while the tire gets a little flat. But that day it was like, very noticeably deflated. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I have the time. I'll just go to the gas station right around the corner, put some air in my tires. It's fine. I drive to that gas station and they have a credit card reader, which is really nice because I don't carry change with me. The credit card reader wasn't working. I was like, okay, that's fine. I'm a little bit more pressed for time, but that's okay. I know that there's one down the street a couple of miles, so I'm just going to hurry on my way. I'm driving down my street and I'm Granted, I'm cruising, like I'm going pretty fast. And as I turn this corner, there's a policeman posted out in the median. And I was like, awesome. So I braked a little bit, but I didn't brake enough. And um, I look behind me in my rearview mirror and I see his brake lights come on. I'm like, perfect. Let's just hope that like he got a call. Uh, so he has to go do something else other than pull me over for speeding. I turn the corner, literally go into the gas station that I'm going to be putting air in my tires, and he pulls up behind me and turns on his lights, and I was like, this is just great. So I waited patiently, he comes to my window, and he says, you know, hi, I'm from the sheriff's department, I pulled you over because you were going 65 in a 45. Yes, I know I was going way too fast. Anyway, so he says, can I see your license and registration? I hand that to him, and at this point I'm getting pretty upset because things just are not going my way. He says, where are you headed? And I just like start breaking down. I said, I'm headed to work. I was trying to put air in my tire because my tire is really flat and I didn't take a credit card and I was trying to make it over here in time for work. And he kind of leans back and looks at my tire and he's like, yeah, that is really flat. And I was like, I know, I know. So he says, wait right here, takes my license, and because it's an out-of-state license, it takes him a really long time to process it. It took about 25 minutes. There I am, and I'm texting my mom saying, got pulled over for speeding, let you know what's happening. He's taking a really long time, I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, I can't afford a speeding ticket. He comes back to my window, and he was really, really nice. He was like, I'm gonna let you off with a warning, and then he says, because you have enough to deal with with your flat tire and everything. And I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> so he hands me the warning slip and I zoom over to the air pump and I realize that it only takes quarters. So I was like, this is just great. I scrounge in my little dashboard looking for any sort of quarters. I found like four. So I literally just like shoved them in the slot. I put just enough air in my tires to like make it to work because I was like, I don't care. I'm not going to be late. Looked at my clock, it's like 12.50 at this point. So I cautiously hurry to work. I park at 105, I rip my key out, I sprint to the bus, because you have to take a bus from the parking lot into work. I make it from the parking lot to the edge of the tunnel by 111, sprint to the locker room to change, to realize that I'm wearing athletic shorts, and I'm not wearing any underwear. Thank God I brought a jacket with me because I was able to zip that around my waist to shimmy my athletic shorts off to shimmy my costume shorts on. And then by the time I did that, sprinted upstairs to clock in, it was 1.15. I cut it really close. I hurriedly type in my number, click enter to clock in, and it says, 
you're early for your 415 shift. Excuse me? So I said, no, that has to be a mistake. So I log out, log back in, just in case I put my number in wrong. And it says, you're early for your 415 shift. They changed my schedule to be three hours later. <clears throat> At that point, I think I just like completely lost it. So I was like, no, 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 there's no way. There's no way they changed my shift. So I look up on my phone and I see my schedule that they pushed my shift back by three hours. So I said, that's fine. I'm gonna just play in the park a little bit. It'll be okay. And then I thought, no, you know what? I'm gonna drive to Walmart and buy some new underwear so that I can work wearing underwear. So I leisurely strolled back to the lockers, zip my jacket back around me to shimmy my work costume off, to shimmy my athletic shorts back on, and I went to put my costume in my locker, and as I was pulling my hand back out, my watch got caught on my locker and broke. So, moral of that story is, if anybody ever tells you that getting pooped on by a bird is good luck, don't believe them. The Lord was testing me. Yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. So I will see you when I see you. <sighs> Goodbye.